Hello, students. Good evening. Teacher, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, welcome. Welcome to your class. Welcome to this special day. Thank I, you, teacher. I know it's Friday, but Fridays are nice when you learn. <laughs> so, good evening, teacher. Good evening, honey. How are you? Welcome to your class. Bye. Okay, so I am very happy to see all your beautiful faces once again in another opportunity to learn. Today, I challenge you a little bit on technology, right? I taught you something new. Les enseñé algo nuevo este día. ¿Ya conocían Bocaru? ¿Quién ya lo conocía más o menos? ¿Quién no? Mi teacher. Ah, oh, Filomena. You used, you used to use it before with another teacher? Yes. Okay, that's that's good. I like that one because you don't have to, um, I mean, to put all these audios in your phone, right? Because that's a that's the main problem with WhatsApp. And then yesterday I said, no, I am going to change it a little bit so they don't overload their phones with a lot of audios. But if you have any issue, si de repente alguno de ustedes tiene un problema, alguna dificultad using Bocaru, you can use your normal audio, okay? But the idea is that you make it simple and that you don't uh, overload your phone with uh, extra space that you might use for something extra, right? So it is a, it is a, a very good tool. It is very useful and it is very simple to use. Did you have any issue using it? ¿Tuvieron algún problema utilizándola? No? Yes? De la nueva aplicación, que no? Uh -huh. Ajá. En mi caso, sí, teacher. Eh, because my uh, WhatsApp is WhatsApp, WhatsApp business. Okay, in that case, it is, you only need to copy the link. En vez de darle compartir, mejor dele copiar. Eso es lo que hice, por uh -huh. eso te salió así, uh -huh. así yeah. Ajá, que le di copiar y después eh, descargué y traté de enviárselo a Sí. Okay, so it is it is always like that. But if you have any issue using it, don't worry. You can send me the normal audio, okay? Si les da dificultad y les cuesta un montón eh, de repente usarla, use the normal audio and it will be perfect for me as well, okay? So eh, for me, it is good in any of the two forms, but what I, I'm looking for is that you don't overload your phone with a lot of audios, right? But uh, for the rest, it was very, very good. So my dear class, I want to know how was your day? I need you to tell me something nice and something that you didn't like about your day. Think about those two things. I need you to think about these two things that I am going to write for you. Something, something, and I'm going to write it here. Something you, enjoyed about your day and something you didn't like. About your day. Okay, we have two different things that I want to know about you from your day today. Okay, I am going to make it bigger. So you can actually read it. And this is going to be for everybody, okay? Something you enjoyed about your day and something you did not like about your day. I need you to tell me these two things. Think about it. I am going to give you my example. Something I enjoy about my day. Something that I really enjoyed about today was that I had the opportunity to, uh, to take my kid to the school and to see him in classes, right? I had the opportunity to see my son in his classes, but he didn't see me. So I was like hidden there. Estaba como escondida en un rincón. But I saw him in classes and I saw that he's a very good student. And I said, thank you, God. <laughs> 
because I, I was doubting, right? Yo dije, y si me asomo y lo veo y es el tremendo de la clase. <laughs> no, but he's a very good kid. So that's something that I really enjoyed about my day. And something that I didn't like was that it was a horrible traffic today. I was in traffic for one hour. And I was like, waiting and waiting and waiting. So that was something that I didn't like about my day. And I, I really hate traffic, but I, I took advantage to talk and, and have conversations there with, with my husband and, and talking about in the traffic, but I didn't like the traffic. What about you? Tell me about something you like and something that you didn't like about your day. I am going to choose five volunteers. Raise your hand. Five volunteers on the spot without that much preparation. Something you love about your day and something that you didn't like. I have the first one, Dennis, go ahead. Well, uh, I'm gonna try um, something uh, that I enjoy about my day. Uh, it was, play guitar and sing singing uh, uh, song some sounds in english and even uh, singing songs in spanish rocking in spanish uh, i like I, I really enjoy uh, sing uh, rock music uh, and something that uh, i don't like it in this day um it was uh, being in my house uh bottle bottle uh, uh, without without uh, do anything okay <laughs> without doing anything right when you have this feeling of that you have time and you are not doing anything go and practice your english <laughs> right that's something that i can recommend right i am going to share some very good links that you can use when you feel bored right para esos momentos de qué aburrición que hacemos. <laughs> Let's learn English, right? But there are some, some very good links. So I am going to share it, right? Nunca se volverá a aburrir. Don't worry. Nadia, go ahead. Thank you very much, Dennis. Reactions for Dennis, please. Everybody, reactions for Dennis. Very good. Reactions. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Thank you very much. There you have a like. That's something nice. Very good. Okay, let me find a, a lot of claps. Very good. I will send you a heart. Very good job. Okay, nice reactions. Let's listen to Nadia. Go ahead. Hi, hi everyone. In my case, I really enjoy walk to my my work in the morning and listen to the music and and every and see in the sunshine. Oh, and nice. The sunrise. I Sunrise. Okay, I I really enjoy this this part of the day, um, but I don't like um have many many joy jokes, um, and and only that, and uh, I really I really enjoy every every moment in my day as my. Is my homework every day. <laughs> okay, when you have a lot of job to do, right? That is that is something for sure that we don't like, right? The sunrise is when it goes up and the sunset, it's when it goes down, right? Sunrise, okay. sunset, okay? Okay, gracias. And what is the meaning of rise? Que sube, right? Sun, rise, sun, set. <laughs> it is kind of, but those are nice words, right? Thank you, Nadia. Okay, reactions for Nadia, please. Very good job. Thank you for sharing about your day. So what she enjoys the most is when she walks to her job. So it is, it's really beautiful, right? To have the opportunity to go and walk and actually observe the beautiness of the day. Fantastic. Thank you very much for your reactions. Great job. It is Regina, go ahead. Teacher. Okay, good evening um, and enjoy my day 
uh, excuse me, the light went out in my house and my son, I cooking the dinner because I know internet in my house. <laughs> okay. The calculation for me is I, 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 he cooking in the, um, and they not like in, in this moment, at the translate um and recoger and pick up pick, pick up, up on my door pick up on my door because of uh, the 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 work means the moment okay so that that was something that you didn't like so you went to pick her up la fue a traer al trabajo yeah it's very quickly is the moment <laughs> <laughs> okay so good Remember, when you are answering a question, for example, in, in like in this case that Iris was saying, something not like, did like, right? When yeah. you are going to give an answer, you have to say like, something that I like about my day was, so you give the complete introduction to the question and then you give the answer, right? Something I like about my day was cooking dinner with my son, for example. Okay. And then you have the complete sentence. And something that I didn't like about my day was picking up my daughter at her job, right? Because it's a lot of traffic and it's it's far or everything, right? But the idea was very nice. Thank you very much, Regina. Very good job. Excellent. Reactions for Regina, please. Thank you very much. I need one more volunteer. I have three. I need volunteer number four. Five, four. <laughs> okay, ya llegaba uno y él lo escogía yo. Good, Jenny, go ahead. Good evening. Something was uh, enjoyed about my day is uh, working at home because I I I really is really more relaxed. Ah yes. <laughs> what a beautiful thing. Yes, but uh, so uh, I don't like uh, for this day is. Uh, that my bathroom was winning <laughs> today and I have to spend money for repairing. <laughs> oh my god. The, okay. It, it was the toilet or the bathroom? The toilet. Oh my goodness. And that's expensive. Yes. <laughs> Sorry for you. <laughs> Sorry, Jenny. Yeah, that was like the bad part. And in some cases, we think like, nah, no, si nada se arruina aquí. So that's why you need to have this little piggy bank. You know what the piggy bank is, right? Un alcancillita y un guardadito. That's a piggy bank. You need to have a piggy bank at home. That's really necessary. I promise myself that I am going to make one. Yo ya dije que cada mes voy a guardar 15 dólares para el otro año escolar porque qué caro. <laughs> so, the piggy bank, right? The piggy bank for these little leaks of money that are necessary. Sorry, Jenny, for, yeah, for the, for the toilet, but I hope that it's ready now. Okay, thank you very much for sharing reactions, please, for, for Jenny. Very good. The poor toilet was ruined. <laughs> Very good job. Okay, Noemi, you are our last participant today. There you have a pollito from Nadia. That's good. Noemi, go ahead. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Uh, antes de seguir, esta me está sacando de, de la clase y me vuelve a meter. Mm. Me saca y ya no me mete. Así es que si me ve. Sí, la conexión va a estar un poco inestable. Yeah. In my case, uh, this day I was enjoying dancing in the gym. Ah, nice. <laughs> yes. Relax. Okay. In my case, you say in my in case. In my case. In okay. My case. And something that you didn't like? Mm. Something that you didn't like? Algo que no te gustó del día? Um, my brother is um, sick. Ah. Oh. That's so sad, right? Yeah. Yes. So that was like the bad part of the day that your brother is sick. But we sí, hope no. we hope that he is going to feel better soon. What does he have? Does he have? No, what does he have? ¿Qué tiene? What? Yes. Cirrosis. 
Oh my goodness. Well, but I hope that with the treatment and the doctors, he's going to feel yes. better. I mean, during this time, right? He's going yes. to, to feel better soon, right? Que se cuide un montón. So that's important. Yes. Yes. Okay. So thank Thanks. you very much for sharing, Thanks. Noemi. <laughs> thank you very much. Alejandro, tell us. No, this is, so I was thinking that maybe it's not a good idea asking for <laughs> asking for, for uh, yeah for the uh, the sick of her. Uh, no, but it, brother, yeah, no. you know it is it is good because I mean you know? when you say something cuando cuando de repente decimos ah pobrecito right but now that we know what he has and I don't know about you but I, I really love I mean praying and everything at night. So I can include him on my prayers, right? I don't well, know. I am very, uh, it, very, it, very what? I don't know. Sensi sensible. You know? I know, I know. But you know, yeah. this is like a little family now. Ahorita ya somos como una familia chiquita. Así que si le preocupa Noemi, ya estamos pendientes nosotros de, de Noemi también. So yes, thank you, yes. Noemi. We are here for you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for sharing and thank you very much for participating, my dear students. It was very, very, very nice. So yesterday we were talking about the different landmarks that we have in our country, right? We were talking about the different monuments, the different places that we visit and the, the places that make our country iconic, right? And you were mentioning Cuatepeque Lake, you were mentioning El Tazumal, you were mentioning uh, Ilopango, Ataco, all these beautiful places. But from all these places, which one is your favorite and why? Think about your favorite place to visit in El Salvador and think about some reasons why you like it. Think about some reasons that make this place special for you. So. I need you to think about, and I need you to write down some ideas. Write down some ideas, not a paragraph. Write down some ideas, some highlights about the place that you like, the place that you love. What is your favorite? And what makes that place so special, okay? For example, if I say, um, I love a taco. I love a taco because of the weather. The weather is fantastic. The food is very good. It is a very romantic place. It is very cold. It is very cloudy. And, um, I don't know, the first date with my special person was there or something, right? What makes the place special for you? Why do you like it? If you say like the view is fantastic or the, the landscape is wonderful, right? So. Choose one place and write down some notes about why do you consider this place so special? A landmark, an iconic place from our country. Okay, I think we have many, so not all of you are going to write like La Puerta del Diablo, right? Right, or all of you are going to say, ah, El Tunco teacher, and I'm going to have 20 Tuncos, Tunco Beach description here, right? It's going to be impossible. But choose different places and write down some notes. I am going to give you a couple of minutes for the notes, okay? So let's work on this. And when you have the notes ready, I am going to give you the opportunity to share with uh, some classmates, okay? Go ahead, write down some notes about your favorite place and what makes this place special. Here in the example, we have three monuments, the pyramids, the Machu Picchu, and the Great Wall of China. And also, if your landmark is not here in El Salvador, but you have it in a different country because you have traveled, you can also include it. write down some notes.
You have one more minute. Okay, when you have your notes ready, while you finish, I am going to create the little groups of work and we are going to work together, sharing the name of the place that you chose and what makes it so special. I am going to have a small groups so all of you can participate. Okay, you will receive your invitation. You are going to go with the group. You are going to share the name of the place and what makes it so special. If you want to give details about where is it located and details about the place, that's perfect, okay? You will receive your invitation right now. And please thank you, Dennis, that you informed that you have already finished. Okay, accept my invitation and let's go with the groups. Remember to practice your English during uh, the process of sharing. Practice your English, please. Go ahead, go ahead. Accept my invitations. No sé qué pasó, teacher. Okay, ahorita lo ubico. Don't worry. Katia says, por error le di cancelar. Ahorita la mando de vuelta. No tenga pena. Okay. I am going to send you back. Ricardo de Jesús, I am going to send you to the group. No, you already accept. There you go. And let's see. Katia, le llegó la invitación. Okay, Boris. Boris, Boris, Boris. I am going to send you to group number five. There you go. <laughs> Katia, ¿qué pasó? Se volvió a salir. No, teacher. Ok. No, voy, teacher. La voy a regresar al uno. Ahí ok, está. thank you. There you go. Boris, ¿qué pasó? No le salió. Ricardo. Eh, no me deja ingresar, le doy unirse y no me deja, okay. me saca. Ahí voy. Ok, Boris, déjeme intentarlo de nuevo. There you go, and here it is. Ok. Y a Eric. Eric, lo voy a pasar a la sala para que pueda escuchar la clase. Ok. Boris, eh, ahí está ya. Eric, le llegó la invitación. Si no, este, voy a ir a revisar los salones y vuelvo con usted, ¿ok? <ríe> Boris is back. Boris, ¿qué pasó? Me lo sacó de regreso. I, I couldn't, teacher. I don't know why. Ok, let me check. Let me check. And ten, ten, ten. ok, 
Okay, and I will take you down here to this room. Maybe in this one, try. What about you, Danny? Well, um, 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 one of my favorite places to visit uh, is El Sante Beach because uh, I like to see the sunsets uh, in a beach. Uh, uh, I love it uh, see the sunsets uh, with the with the with the sea, uh, with the beach, uh, with the nature around. All the, all the beach and also uh, I like because I I have the opportunity to to have fun with my friends I spend all the night you where are you from okay. today I, I live in San Salvador uh, I, I born uh, in, in San Rafael, Ojuelo. Uh, okay. In my case, um, Jardín Botánico del Plan de la Laguna. Yeah. I like wow. uh, forest, much tree, um, where water, yeah. and and why and world much and flower different eh, hoja diferentes como eh, tipos de árboles variedad no me recuerdo cómo es una variedad de a variety yeah me too <laughs> yeah it's a it's a different variety of trees uh, different. It's a different uh, variety of trees and different color of leaves. The leaves are las hojas, right? Okay. So that's the different colors of the leaves. Th that is really beautiful. I want to go to Jardin, Bo Jardin Botanico. It's very, they say that it's very beautiful, but I don't know the place. And water is, is este, good. Really? I need to go, <laughs> definitely. Okay, Daisy, how is San Rafael Obrajuelo? Uh, oh. In the department department of La Paz. Uh -huh. And how is it? ¿Cómo es? It's very, very small. Uh, está it between, is? It is between Santiago Nonualco y, and uh, San Juan Nonualco. Oh, so it's like in the middle. Yes, yes. And yes. is it is it hot or cold? Uh, hot. It's hot. hot. <laughs> okay. And but what is? Uh, uh -huh. I love I love the river with Coyolapa. Ah, so in that's the, your favorite in place. Thing, yes, my favorite place because um, to share. Uh, my family oh that's so fantastic right okay my dear students continue practicing continue sharing more details about your favorite place i will go and check the next group okay okay, okay teacher thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. hello, hello. <laughs> hello teacher. it was like hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Omar Rupero. Hello, Hello, very, teacher. very, thank you. Very, very, thank you. Omar Romántico. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Francisco, go on. Okay, thank Welcome. you. Welcome. Well, thank you very much. Did you finish sharing about your favorite places? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, my, my, is uh, Museo Nacional Antropología, Dr. David J. Guzmán. Okay, David J. Uh, Guzmán Museum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. David teacher? J. Guzmán Museum. My oh, favorite okay. place. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have, I have many different favorite places now. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes, 
One of my favorite, <laughs> one of one of my favorite landmarks of El Salvador for sure will always be the beach. I love mm. I love the beach, uh, all the different types of beach that we have in El Salvador. They are very beautiful. If there is something that I enjoy, is um, the sunsets at the beach. I just love mm. them. And another iconic place that it's very beautiful is Cerro Verde. I love Cerro Verde because it's so beautiful. It's so cold. It's so perfect. It's it's amazing, right? And it has this beautiful view of the Izalco volcano. I mean, I am from Santa Ana. I have to love Cerro Verde. Uh -huh. <laughs> me too, me yeah. too, Cerro Verde. Yeah, I love Cerro Verde. Because the delicious weather. Yes, the weather is beautiful. <laughs> yes, Francisco, what is your uh, question? You, you, uh, you, you know, um, City Arqueológico de Casa Blanca? Yes. Usted conoce? Okay, yeah, okay. I know. I know Tazumal, Casa Blanca, all those places, right? The best <laughs> the best yuca con chicharrón is from Chalchuapa. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, and delicious. it is, it is delicious. not that I am from Chalchopa. <laughs> es que preguntaba the... porque el compañero Ricardo me dice, ¿es aquí en El Salvador? <laughs> <laughs> no, yo también le pregunté porque no sabía. Ah, oh, oh, sí, sí, sí. <laughs> no, it is, it is, for sure. No, ¿cómo? <laughs> Ricardo, come on. It's like, ¿dónde queda eso? <laughs> Ajá, eso iba a decir. No, it, it is in Chalchopa. And it is yeah. a very famous place because they have a lot of work with Añil. And they do a lot of clothing and they teach you how to color clothes with anil. Mm. And and it is a it is a great place to go. It doesn't have like a lot of pyramids like El Tasumal, for example, but it is very beautiful. I, I recommend you to go. Okay. I will check on the last group and I will come back in a moment. Okay. 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 Let's go back with the last places. In my case, too. Aha, uh -huh. hello. You yes. love you love sightseeing. Me too. <laughs> yes. We well, I was telling them that I don't like a uh, landmark because they are kind of boring. <laughs> yeah, they are they like are, mm. <laughs> they are tattoos or mono that I don't know what they mean. Uh-huh. Because it there's they they are made of cement. How do you say cement? <laughs> yeah, it's like I think it's like. Well, cement. I don't know. There are some. Uh -huh, there are some some landmarks that doesn't mean nothing to me. Yeah, you need but, uh -huh, but sightseeing places are beautiful yes. with a lot of nature, uh, wild animals. Uh, well, I like sightseeing places. I like sightseeing as well. In in many of the cases, you need to know the story behind the monument, because in some cases, people just say like, "I." Uh, for example, here we have La Chulona, right? And who mm -hmm. knows the meaning? Who knows who she is? Who she was? What did she do? So we need to investigate a lot more behind each monument, because there are many that are not really meaningful but they are iconic and you say, no, everybody knows it, right? About yeah. the it's like Nidia, it's, it's like Nidia was saying about the monument of the truth. Yeah. That it was made uh, in the name of uh, San Oscar Arnolfo Romero. Exactly. So the, those are the, like the things that we need to investigate in our country, right? We need to go yes. a little bit beyond. Okay, my dear class, let's go back to the main session. I'm going to take you back there, okay? Hello again. So we were talking about the different monuments, the different landmarks that we have in our country. What is something curious that you heard from your classmates? Something curious that you heard that you say like, hey, I didn't know this one, or this was new for me, or we like the same place. What was something curious that you heard from your classmates? Teacher, I have a, an idea. Uh -huh. Let's go to the beach to see <laughs> the, the sunset. <laughs> the sunrise for tomorrow, right? Si nos vamos ahorita, llegamos todavía para para disfrutar el amanecer. So it's good. That's a good idea. 
<laughs> oh, I work tomorrow. Forget it. <laughs> I work in the morning. Mm. So, <laughs> tomorrow morning, right? Ya no vino la directora a abrir la academia. <laughs> and me at the beach. Ay, perdón. Sorry. Good. So. No problem. <laughs> no problem <laughs> for <laughs> the. <laughs> yeah. Y los niños afuera de la, <laughs> la academia. Ya no vino teacher Nati. <laughs> and me at the beach. With the, teacher, the teacher. You, you tell. You tell us. Uh, the teacher is sick. Yeah, no class today, I would <laughs> Okay, so, iconic places that you listened from your friends. Algún lugar que no conocían, que sus, que sus compañeros se los, se los presentaron. Ya se me olvidó la casa de qué dijiste, Francisco. ¿Cómo, cómo? Cerro Erbo. La casa no sé qué, qué, qué te preguntamos si era aquí en Salvador. Ah, es uh, un sitio arqueológico de Casa Blanca. Eso. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Casa Blanca, en Chalchuapa. En Chalchuapa. El ojo de agua en Chalchuapa. Ojo de agua, tú, yes. 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 El ojo de agua. Ojo de agua the, there is, there is yes. one place in Santa Ana as well that it has a very funny name, that it's called Calzonte Abajo. And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Y calzón de arriba. Ajá. It is like, yes, exactly like that. It's near Metapan. So it's like a canton, right? It's a canton indeed, right? So those are the places that you know that they exist in our country and that they are like hidden germs there that we don't really know them. Casablanca is one of them. Yes, Dennis? Are you from Santana? I am from Chalchuapa, exactly. Uh, oh. Yes. Alejandro, tell me. Yes, teacher. Is is there a is there a word in English for the word canton? Well, that is like the countryside. Most of the most of the things that uh, that we build up, for example, canton. It's like a village, for example, in English. Okay, village. It's a oh, village. Okay. It's okay. like a little village, you. right? In okay. you say all these things are in the country area, right? In the yes. countryside, and they are little villages that we have. Because the cities, the cities, for example, is like San Salvador that has San Marcos, Oyapango, and all these places. Those are the cities because they are here in the in the urban area, right? But if you go, for example, to a far place there, uh, I don't know, in, in the skirts of Chalatenango or something like that, that is going to be a village. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, Teacher, when you say countryside, you're meaning el campo. Yes. Okay. Yes, you. that's the meaning of that. The countryside. Well, but nowadays we don't have a lot of countryside anymore, right? Because everything is very populated. Everything is so modern that the only thing that they don't have are the malls. Any multiplaza there in Metapan, that's the only thing that is missing. <laughs> Nature is disappearing. Yeah, it, it, we it, are it, making it disappearing. We are disappearing it, definitely. We are disappearing all these places in the town. So thank you very much for sharing with your friends. I was in the different groups listening uh, about the landmarks, right? And most of them are beautiful because of their beautiful, uh, their beautiful landscapes and the beautiful views that they have. And for sure, the place itself makes it very beautiful. Here, we have three different places, the pyramids, the Machu Picchu, and the Great Wall of China. And uh, those things are very iconic because they represent a country. For example, if you think about Egypt, you automatically think about the, the pyramids, right? You think about camels, you think about sand, hot, Right? When you think about El Machu Picchu, you think about the mountains, right? You think about all these landscapes that you can see. And when you think of the Great Wall of China, you can think about this huge walk that you have, right? But do you know why was it built? What was the purpose of the Great Wall of China? Okay, they uh, used to uh, try to uh, stop the enemies. Okay, they use it to stop the enemies. What about the pyramids? Do you know why they build them? 
Do you know any purpose of the pyramids? They use, uh, as thumbs for the the pharaoh, the the kings. Okay, they use it as thumbs. What about the exactly like that? What about uh, the pyramids in El Salvador, El Tasumal, in Joya de Seren, in all these places? Why, why were they built? San Andres. Uh huh. San Andres. What was the purpose of that? Maybe they collect all the energies. Okay, yeah, they collected energies there, good. They had meetings at those places. That was like the sacred place, right? And they also did some sacrifice there. They sacrificed uh, people. To, to make sacrifice there. Yeah, to sacrifice people, to kill people. And for example, in, in El Tasumal, there is a space where they used to play kind of soccer that they had. And there they had their specific place to kill people and they had their specific place to meet, right? And to have these reunions that they used to have. So everything has a purpose, right? Everything has a purpose in, I mean, in, in the life and in the building of it. Here we have a couple of vocabulary related to the different things around a country, right? And we have cars, for example, cattle, chickens, Coffee, corn, lobsters, microchips, oysters, rice, sheep, shrimp, and television. And we have four different categories. Farm, grown, manufacture, and race. Okay, farm is that it's cultivated, right? Or, or you, you grow that. Algo que se cría, algo que se tiene, algo que se reproduce, right? That is farm. What about grown? Something that you put on the land and, you, and it grows and then you collect, that it's grown, right? Algo cultivado. Manufacture is that you have to make it with your own hands. And raised is, uh, in good Spanish, you say, uh, cuando tú crías algo, right? And it grows, right? You raise it. Okay, but in each category, which ones do you see? Lobster, for example, are farm because you can grow them like tilapias, right? Lobsters. Grown, coffee. What is something in this list that is manufactured? Microchips. Microchips. Microchip. Microchips are manufactured, right? What else? Television. Cars. Television. 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 Cars. 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 And what else? Cars. What, what, what is cattle? Ha! Ah, this is a very good moment. Who knows what cattle is or who has investigated in this moment? ¿Quién ya lo investigó? ¿Qué significa cattle? No, you have all this technology and you don't use it, people. <laughs> Siempre que vean una palabra nueva que ustedes de repente digan, ¿qué es eso? In the same moment, go and investigate it. Vamos a ver quién ya lo hizo. Google says ganado. Yes. <laughs> ganado. Ganado. Right. My cattle. <laughs> Ahora ya no van a decir. <laughs> Ese es el ganado. Es my cattle. Women used to have cattle. Ay, no, no, How no. can I say se me juntó el cattle? <laughs> I got the cattle together. <laughs> I got the cattle together, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Grande frase con teacher Nati. <laughs> be, be careful Thank with you, the teacher. cattle. Right? Be you careful with day. the cattle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> y la esposa de Alejandro. Ah, no, hombre. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't have my, my, Ah, no. so then, then you can have a cattle, don't worry. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no. you, can, you can grow okay. your cattle. And, yeah. and, and only the ladies have cattle. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> not at all, not at all. Going back to the topic, okay, se me salieron todos del guacalo, voy a traer de vuelta. Okay. <laughs> de Carol, anotándolo. <laughs> so, in the case of the cattle, it is funny, but it's race, right? Ese, ese se, se cría y crece. <laughs> the cattle. The cattle is going to be raised. Race. Okay, Chicken, porque... <laughs> chickens, uh -huh. The chickens are raised Chicken. as well. Raised. Raised. The sheep. 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 Uh, the sheep, right? Sheep. The sheep. And what else? Maybe trim. 
Um, no. The shrimps son los camarones. Shrimps are farm. Uh, they are farm. <laughs> Usted alimentando okay. su camarón. ¿Qué crees? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, no. Sorry, it's Friday. I make fun on Friday. Don't worry. <laughs> Las clases del viernes son bien divertidas. What about the... <laughs> what is grown? What is something that it's grown? Rice. 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 Very good. Rice. Corn. 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 Al and? Also beans. And beans. Beans. <laughs> uh, yeah, but we don't have it on the list. But no. beans are grown. No. No, no, no. He was making fun of it. Coffee is the other option. And what about farm? Farm. The oysters. The oysters. Shrimp. 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 And the lobsters, sure. right? And, and here lobster. we can include the tilapias. Okay, fish. we can include the tilapias, the fish, and all these different types of, of coffee. Coffee cannot be farmed, it can be grown. Oh, sorry, right? sorry. it's grown, right? Here, sorry, sorry. All the ones that you cultivate. And here you can grow tomatoes, you can grow potatoes, you can grow, I don't know, papayas, you can grow any type of plant that it's going to grow once you take care of it. That's perfect. Farm is that you have one and they start reproducing more and then you have a bigger population of this. Raised, it's something that, for example, you have to take care for it to grow. For example, a pet, a cat, a dog, that it's going to be raised. A rabbit. A rabbit. And in some cases, the rabbits can be also farm because okay. they, they use it yes. only for, for uh, I mean, to reproduce them and then they sell them. That it's not something really nice, but people do it. People do it. So uh, this was a part of vocabulary that I wanted to share with you because it's always important, right? Because with the countries, with the things, with the growing, it is uh, important to use it. And we can also join this with the passive voice because we can say, Coffee is grown in Santa Ana, for example. And you say microchips are manufactured in Japan. And you use passive voice at the moment of using this information. Can you tell me a place where uh, chickens are raised? In my house. <laughs> in the farm. Nice. The farm. nice. Okay. Nice. Ahora con lo caro que está el huevo, niño. <laughs> you have like, you have like, aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then he's selling cartons of eggs here. Can you tell me here in El Salvador, where do people uh, manufacture cars? No, this year we can, we, we can manufacture cars. We don't have those places here. We, we don't have, have, but in the world? Well, yes. Brazil, in the world. United China. States, Alemania, Japan, Germany, China. United States, in Spain. China, in Germany, in the United States, Ilopa. in Mexico, in, Ilopa. in Japan, in Ilopa. <laughs> well, the, Mexico and Canada. Uh, yeah, here in, in some Spain, cases they are. Gringos. Okay, we I look gringo. American people. Okay. Gringos. Um, <laughs> People. No, 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 because we hate when people say lo guanacos. No, ah, no, we, no. we, so. Bueno, realmente no llaman mexicanos a todos los que hablamos español. The Mexican people. <laughs> no, you know, but it, it is curious, but it's, it's always uh, noticeable that the Mexican accent is different. Nadia, yes, you have your hand up. Yes, teacher, in El Salvador, manufacturing microchips. Really? Yes, in Ilopango. Ah, nice. Yeah, Ilopango. Ilopango, yeah. I teacher, know how do you say Zona Franca? Well, that would be like the... There we manufacture. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but there teacher, we, we manufacture clothes. Yes. Well, but in, in those 118 some enterprises 18? manufacture chips. Yes, indeed, they do. Francisco, what yes, was your question? In Salvador, in 192, uh -huh. El Salvador manufacture in cars, no? Really? Oh, uh, yeah, there were some. Yeah. Yes, in Yasaki. Yes, it's true. Yasaki, yeah, Santana. Yeah, yeah. 
E, you see. Rem I remember, I remember. No, Yasaki doesn't manufacture cars. They just do, they just make some pieces, but they don't manufacture cars. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes, they also yes. have manufactured cars in 1982. Well, well, we are going to make some deep search on this one. The free trade zone is Zona Franca. Oh, that's the, thank that's you. the meaning of that. But I, I knew that we used to manufacture uh, pieces of cars, right? Specific parts of the cars. But there was one car, and I don't yeah. remember the name that was Cherito. That was created here in El Salvador. Cherito. Right? El Cherito. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Cherito. In the yeah. 70s. In the, oh, in the 60s. In the 60s. 60s or 70s, right? yes. In the sixties, it was also it was it was manufactured here in El Salvador. So you see, yes. good, good. This was a very cultural <laughs> moment. I like it. In El Salvador, carretas de valeros. Oh yeah, we used to have we used to yeah. have pull a uh, horse pull carts. That was that was very famous in in some cases, and in some cases they had the bulls or the cows and or the horses pulling those carts. I remember that. So we used to manufacture that as well. Before I forget, okay, I have these questions here for you. I have these sentences and we are going to build them up in passive voice, right? I have here the different verbs that we are going to use. And while I call the attendance, I need you to write them on your notebook in the correct form of passive voice, okay? You can write the verbs from one to eight, okay? You can write only the complements or you can write a complete sentence, okay? Mientras paso lista, pueden ir completando las oraciones en su cuaderno. You can use only the one on parentheses. Pueden escribir solo lo que está en parentheses, but my recommendation, it's always to write the complete sentence, okay? I am going to call the attendance meanwhile, and you can do that uh, in the meantime. Let me see. Remember, write the sentences, and when you listen to your name, say here or press it, okay? You can do that in your notebook. Pueden ir haciéndose en su cuaderno mientras les paso lista. And ta -ta 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 -ta. here I go. Okay. There are only eight okay. sentences. Okay. Las ocho oraciones. Las pueden ir completando. And Hello, here we go. What's up? Thank you very much. Eh, Alba Colombina. Eh, Alejandro José. Present, teacher. Thank you. Alicia Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Ana Filomena. Present, teacher. Andrea Geraldine. Present, present, teacher. Thank you. Andrea Michelle. Present, teacher. Blanca Marisol. Present, teacher. Boris Martín. Here, teacher. Brian Isaac. Mr. Brian Isaac. Denis Isaías. Present. Daisy Carolina. Present. Dina Elizabeth. Present. Elba, thank you. Elba Carolina. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eric Ernesto. Eric, Eric is here, I know. Erika Maidel. Francisco Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Iris Regina. Is here teacher. Jenny Elizabeth. Present. Jessica Janet. Present teacher. Uh, Jose Eraivin. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Eduardo. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Katia Graciela. Present teacher. Maritza Isabel. Present teacher. Okay. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Nadia Isolina. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Noemi Alicia. Present teacher. Ricardo de Jesús. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Ronald Antonio. Mr. Ronald Antonio. Sara Naida. Present teacher. And Vidal. Present teacher. 
Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, did I miss someone? Erika? And let me see, I am going to recall Brian Isaac. At one, two, three, no. And let me see, who am I missing as well? Erika Magdiel, Maidel, sorry. And Ronald Antonio. Okay, I have 30 and I have here, let me check, 27. Okay, good. So, and Albita is not here. Do you have the answers of the questions and the sentences that I have there? I need a volunteer to help me with the first one. The walls were destroyed were by destroyed. the earthquake. The walls were, were destroyed, destroyed by, by the, the earthquake. earthquake. Where in El Salvador? It just um, happened. In, in Las Colinas, uh huh. One week ago. Darío's Market. In Darío's yeah. Market. ¿Qué pasó? Hace una semana. Mm -hmm. In. Aguachapan. In Aguachapan, right? The walls, the walls were destroyed by the earthquake in Aguachapan. Yeah, it was a real example. Our car broke down. Go ahead. Our car. Our car, our car broke, broke down, down last week. week and it was repaired yesterday. Retired. And yes. it was repaired yesterday. yesterday. Any yes. real life examples? Yes. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Our car broke down last week and it was repaired yesterday. Yeah. West, uh, Westminster Abbey was, was built, 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 built. Was built in the 13th built. century. In the 13th, 13th. century. In the 13th, 13th century. Okay. What was the recommendation of the day? Si yo no sé algo, lo investigo. What is Westminster Abbey? La abadía de Westminster. Exactly like that. Very good. La London. So, it was good. The children and was sent. Was sent. The children, it's plural, were sent to bed early. Okay, early. it was like bye 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 bye, right? Go to bed. The first Ooh. Olympic Games. The first Olympic Games were held. Were, think, were held in, in Greece. 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 They were held in Greece. Very good. Our first house was surrounded, was was by, surrounded. Big by, the big by a big garden. Our first house was surrounded yes. by a big garden. Very good. What about the next one? Coffee. Was introduced. Coffee was, was introduced, introduced into a European, a European. In the 17th century. In the 17th century. Very good. And the last one. The new shopping center. Was open last month. Last was open last month. Last month. Last month. Was open last month. Ah, right? <laughs> the, the new shopping center was opened last month. Nothing to see with the shopping centers where you can go and buy clothing. <laughs> it was like, yeah, it was the example, right? The shopping center. That is a very the common next... place, right? That is a very common place in our country. And, and if you don't know it, you are not Salvadorian. Right? Que es eso, you will say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we are going to be working on the audios on Monday. Saturday and Sunday, you are free to rest and relax, but I am going to share a couple of links for you to uh, practice. If you want to go and investigate a little bit more, if you want to read, you can use them, okay? So that will be for the weekend. On the weekend, you are not going to have homework. So I am going to see you on Monday back in classes, okay? Remember mm -hmm. that it is a special case for this Friday and the next one that we are going to have classes. So I hope that you keep improving and that you keep practicing during these days. My dear students, thank you very much for being here. I am going to be checking on you on Monday morning with your audio, okay? We're going to keep using Bokaru for you to record and 
I am going to send you the next question for Monday. Thank you for the ones who already send it. And if you haven't, you have the chance to do it uh, tomorrow morning, okay? Have a wonderful night and I'm going to see you on Monday for the next class. See you on Monday. Thank you. Good Have a great weekend. Bye. 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 Bye.